Hello everybody, we're going to continue on with our short division. We're going to look at short division with remainders. Um, just going to go for some really quick examples and then I'm going to get you off on some examples just to keep practicing and practicing and practicing. So before we start, here's a quick little warm up. So pause the video, answer them as quick as you can um, and I will go through some of the answers. So. How many fours are in 48? Or well, 48 divided by 4? That's two ways of saying the same question. One way I can do it is count up in my fours until I get to 48. Or some of you might see they might partition this into 40 and 8 and then add them up. So we can go 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48. There are 12. And if you did the partitioning method, you could see that there were 10 fours in 40, two fours in eight, and add them up. Now, look at the relationship between these two. We did 480 divided by four. Fours are the same. 480 is 10 times larger than 48, so our answer is going to be 10 times larger. Well done if you got that. Uh, we've got 72 divided by 9 how many 9's are in 72? count up 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72 there are 8 now let's look at the relationship between these we know our 9 is the same we know our 8 is 10, sorry is 100 times smaller so if we, if we go this way, we make it 100 times larger. Guess what we've got to do to this? Make it 100 times larger. Brilliant. If you spotted that bit 72. Well, that 7,200. Well done. Let's quickly flip through the answers here. You've seen the answers. So look at our first question. Have a think about how we would lay that out. Pause the video, give it a go, and then... Uh, I will show you how to work it out. So, we're going to take our number here that we're dividing. 527 divided by 5. Yeah? Okay. So, I'm going to take my 5. How many 5s are in 5? I'm going to count up my 5s. 5. five. Oh, that's 1. So, this next bit is where I see a common mistake. How many fives go into two? None of them, because I know five is bigger than two. So I put none. Now, lots of people miss this zero here. They will just go, how many fives go in 27, then put that answer. Next, because I haven't used this yet, because I've got the zero, I'm gonna do fives into 27, go five, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and actually, I've only got to 25, but I need to get to 27. That means there is a leftover of 2. Well done if you got that. So, one way we could do that, we could also look into our hundreds, tens, and ones. I'm not a massive fan. Not a massive fan of this red. I'd rather it always go into blue. So what I can do is I can say I'm gonna start with my five. Yep, I'm gonna put it five hundreds. Remember I'm splitting this into five groups. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah? One, two, three, four, five, and the last one. So can I fit each one of these dots? I can fit this one here. I can fit this one here. I can fit this one here. Remember, they all have to have the same amount, so it's five equal groups. So I've done my fives. Now let's go to my tens. Let's change colour for my tens. My tens, I'm going to do here. I've got two tens. Can I split these? Oh, 
and I split these two tens across my tens here over my grid. No, I can't. So what do I do? I put the zero in there because there is none. So I'm going to put a little line. I mean, you wouldn't put a line. I'm just trying to demonstrate that here. That there's nothing in there. So what do I do then? I actually, I exchange these two for... Let me see. I don't want that colour. I want that colour. So I'm going to exchange this top one here. I'm going to change that for one, two, three, four. So I've got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll notice I put them in fives. So I've got five groups. So I can take, oops, I can take all of these five, one, two, three, four, five, and go one, two, three, four, five. Take all of these five. These five. One, two, three, four, five. All of these five. One, two, three, four, five. All of these five. One, two, three, four, and finally five. But actually, I've still got two left over. That would make my groups uneven. So if I have a look at this number here. I've got 105, because if we remember, this middle column doesn't have anything in it. So 105 ones, with two left over. And I'll have the same with those in each of the. That's how it works. Now I'm going to go through the, the rest of these questions a lot quicker. And I'm not going to do so much of the... Uh, place value if you need the place value please feel free to watch this bit again really slowly please feel free to uh, do the same thing with your own calculation or watch previous videos so let's have a go with this one what i want you to do i want you to have a go first once you are ready come back and see if you follow the same method as me so i'm going to start with my dividend dividend is what i'm dividing and this is my divisor that's what i'm dividing by how many threes go into two none how many threes are in 21 seven seven times three is 21 how many threes are in eight three eight uh, sorry three six two i'm on six i need to get to eight i've got a remainder of two well done, you were able to do that. Here we go. Dividend. 898 divided by 5. Well, pause, pause the video, give it a go. Come back when you're ready. 5s into 8 goes 1 with 3 left over. 5 into 39 is going to go to 35, and now that is 7, remainder of 4. 5 into 48, oh now it's going to go to 45, and that is going to be 9, 45, 46, 47, 48, remainder of 3. Well done if you got that. And finally, I take my dividend, and divide that by my divisor, 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 which is in this case five, I know I'm going to have a remainder because all numbers that go into the five times table exactly end in a five or a zero. So five into seven goes one with two left over. Fives into 26 goes 25, which is five with one left over. Fives into 17 goes 15, which is three with a remainder of two. Well done if you got those. Now, if you need a bit more work on those, please watch that first calculation again because here we have some questions. Now, it, your answers are going to have a mixture of remainders 
and none remainders. Over in here, we are focusing more on uh, more confident multiplication tables. So if you're still working on your times tables, um, you can use, uh, what's it called? Times table rock stars, by all means. But this is just the same sorts of calculations. Whoa. No, don't need that. It's the same sorts of calculations. No, don't want that either. Wait a minute. It's the same calculations, but uh, simpler times tables. In the middle, you can see down the bottom, we've actually gone up to five digit numbers. Now, you don't need to know how to do five digit numbers, but I think lots of us are uh, feeling really confident and it's something that I feel like some of you can do. And over here, again, we've got a lot more. Now, you can do, I would suggest, this is my suggestion, you do three of the first one, if you're really confident, move on to the second one. Do three of the second one, if you're really confident, move on to the third one. Uh, if you think, mm, I could do with a bit more uh, practice, then do all of them. But I would say do a minimum of the one that you think a minimum of three with the one that you think you're comfortable with. So if you're gonna start with two, try three of them. If you're really, really confident, move on. If you need a bit more practice, do some more. If you think actually it's a bit more difficult, then jump back. Yeah? So you can do as many or as few as you want. Or as many as you need, not as many as you want. Okay, so be careful because I'm going to flick through and uh, uh, if I've got an activity for you if you are really confident. So if you're really confident and you've mastered, you, you think that you have mastered this skill, what I want you to do, because I was really impressed with some of your previous explainer videos for slash posters, come up with a short division explainer poster or tutorial video to help somebody. You can see we've got some examples here. They show lots of different ways to do it. We've got some instructions. We've got some steps. So really think about the information that you think is important. And also, feel free to create a video and post it. Some of your videos were brilliant and I was telling everybody about it in our meeting. So keep up the good work. Keep practicing. It's really gonna help us. Um, and help you guys moving forward. So practice as much as you